project. Strangford Lock in County Down is the largest sea inlet in the British Isles. It has no less than 150 miles of varied coastline and its narrow mouth opens out to wide stretches of calm, sheltered water sprinkled with lots of small islands. The lock is surrounded by low hills called drumlins and for centuries this area has been shared by man and the wildlife in what is essentially a farming community. From earliest times, people here had to defend themselves and their land from the invader. First it was the Vikings, then it was the Normans, now it's the tourists. You'll need wheels to explore the lock shores of Down, so the attractions of the area are well spread out. If you tour around, you'll find plenty of wildlife, sailing and other outdoor activities and historic sites. If you're well heeled, you can even fly in to start your holiday as Newton Ards has its very own airfield. But for the rest of us, the Ulster Flying Club is on hand as they offer pleasure flights and flying lessons. Like so many areas in Ireland, there's plenty of golf. And this little course close by Scrabble Tower has been carved out of mountain goat country. And this is where we begin our tour of Strangford Lock. Scrabo Tower on Scrabo Hill. It's the highest point on the landscape and it dominates the whole area. The tower was built in 1857 and owes its origins to the Irish famine. It was erected as a memorial to Charles Vane, the third Marquess of Londonderry, in recognition of his help to the tenants during that dreadful period. Inside there are displays telling the story of Scrabo Hill and the surrounding countryside. And it's worth the climb up the steep staircase for the magnificent views at the top. Moving down the right-hand side of the lock, Grey Abbey is a must for anyone interested in Ireland's past. The daughter of the King of the Isle of Man sailed for Ireland to marry the local big shot here. But when she got caught in a terrible storm, she vowed that if her life was spared, she'd build an abbey as a thank offering. She survived, and in 1193, Grey Abbey was built by craftsmen specially brought over from Cumbria. Today we can admire a good example of traditional Gothic architecture, and perhaps hear the echoes of past centuries in the weathered stone. the area and you're feeling a bit peckish there are plenty of pubs where you can stop for a good pub lunch which won't cost you an arm and a leg here at this one i'm trying the traditional homemade pie and a pint <laughs> the lock shores of down offers some of the best all year round bird watching for beginners and experts alike Gillespie is one of eight national centres which encourages visitors to develop personal contact with many different types of wild and rare birds. And you can even feed them if you like. Here you go. Come on. Castle Gillespie's manager, James Orr, took me on a guided tour. Among the attractions for visitors are large wooden hides right by the lake, where using binoculars you can get a real bird's eye view of the wildlife. Yes, Shauna, there's the most beautiful duck out there at the moment. It's black and white with a lovely red bill, and it's actually called a shell duck. Oh, yeah. I see. It's gorgeous. It's a popular place with children, and groups are well catered for. And once you've done the rounds, there's a panoramic restaurant for lunch or afternoon tea. Incidentally, weekend breaks specially designed for bird watchers coming from the UK or Ireland start from as little as £50 staying at local farms or country houses. And talking of country houses, look what I find. Tucked in off the main Port of Ferry Road overlooking Strangford Lock is Edenvale House. This fine country home offers good value accommodation in welcoming family surroundings. 
There are three comfortable bedrooms, one is en suite and full breakfast is included in the price. If you prefer hotel accommodation, there are several in the area. Here's just two examples. The Strangford Arms in Newton Ards and the Portaferry Hotel in Portaferry, of course. They offer all the usual facilities and both are well sited as a base for touring. These days underwater exploring is becoming a popular holiday activity and most experienced divers head off to foreign climes. But it's good here too. There are organised group diving holidays on the lock shore of Down, catering for the beginner and the advanced diver. The courses start at around £40 and equipment is provided. There are 11 yacht clubs in this area, so the sailing in Strangford Lock must have something going for it. There are beginners courses at White Rock and regattas throughout the summer, and the lock offers excellent facilities for visiting yachtsmen. These visitors are following St. Patrick, who sailed into Strangford Lock when he arrived in Ireland in the 4th century. Today, visiting boats can drop anchor near a number of ancient places, but perhaps the most interesting site is Nendrum Monastery on Mahi Island. Nendrum was a Celtic monastery built about the year 445 by a pupil of St. Patrick's. It must have been an idyllic place to live in that ancient time, and today visitors can see the layout of the buildings which made up this monastic settlement.